Hello. 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 Why are you going to do that? Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hi. Oh, I thought we were going to do it all at the same time. No. Hello. Hi. Hi. What are we... <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, God. I forgot. Uh, but basically... I forgot uh, we're doing a video. <laughs> so did I for a second. Uh, I found some things for you that are bizarre. Very. 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 Kind of. Good morning. Good afternoon. And good night. I am Fuzzy. And I am Elroy. We are your hosts for this lovely uh, talk show as we do it. Lovely basement filler. Anyway. Yeah, it is a basement. Kind of like a... A snuff video. <laughs> no. Okay, anyway. no. Oh, okay. uh, basically, I found ten things that says bizarre ways to die. I don't know if they're really what happened or if they're just stories. So I, I thought with, uh, with the uh, Halloween on its way, why don't we just read about them real quick and see what you guys think. So, number ten. Apparently, uh, and the other thing is, like, apparently, from what they were saying is, Attila the Hun has said to have died from a nosebleed. And uh, Isadora, Isadora Duncan, a popular American dancer who was strangled to death by her own scarf from the car that she was apparently getting out of. It wrapped around the axle of the car and took off and, well, strangled her to death. That is a long... What, what Was this in, like, the 1950s? No, this was actually in the 19... I was in like the 20s or 30s. It, I just for some reason. Well, because I can see it being more likely then because the, the yeah. axles are actually exposed. Oh yeah, as of now to today. Well, like, you could still have that happen. You could, but it'd be like, what the hell kind of scarf are you wearing? <laughs> right. Apparently, one that can reach to China. Foot scarf. Uh, and the other thing is, is apparently the architect that created the. Uh, I get a little something there. I don't know, man. Something's itchy. <laughs> Uh, apparently, the architect that created the, uh, uh, what? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, Madison Square Garden. That's there what I was go. talking about. I'm sorry. Uh, basically, was shot and killed on the rooftop of that place. I knew that. I didn't. I thought that was fascinating. Uh, I, I didn't know if it was real or not, but I was, thought it was interesting to bring up. Uh, and the other thing is that the, uh, the, the uh, <laughs> The writer, Tennessee Williams, uh, famously died choking on a bottle cap. So that's that's a few little things there. But now we'll go to number 10. Basically, this guy... That wasn't a number. <laughs> that wasn't even a number 10. Uh, Basically, this guy is a 57-year-old man who left his uh, wallet at the gas station, and it got stolen. So what it was is he went around, and he had uh, called the cops, you know, to come and investigate. Uh, but he apparently found his wallet in, in a sewer drain and decided, hey, I'm going to try and get this. So, <laughs> by the time when the cops came, they said, yeah, you need to stop doing that. And he was like, well, okay, and then decided to come back later when the cops weren't around and somehow got himself to take off the, the, the grate and then lower himself down head first and got wedged. <laughs> Into the, in the sewer drain. Oh my god, did he drown? Basically what happened was, is they found him alive, and then they pulled him up and took him to the hospital, but during his stay at the hospital, he ended up passing away. But, okay, what happened, though, to his face? Did he drown in it? <laughs> like... No, he, he was alive and, and apparently coherent, but, you know, not doing well since he was hung upside down for so long. Here's another because question. Because the blood going straight to your head is not good. Did he get his wallet? I don't know. <laughs> like I said, these could be stories or they could be true. I don't rightfully know. So now we'll go on to number t uh, number nine. Number nine. Sad right. irony. Yes. Okay. This is the deodorant. Uh, basically, a kid uh, over in England. Uh, he was 16 years old in 1998, and basically he passed away from a heart attack due to spraying too much deodorant in a small area. Is what they figured. Uh, so basically, he just kept spraying around. He wanted to smell good all the time, so he would spray. He, I think they said he used like two spray cans a day, basically, just so he could smell good. <laughs> Jesus. And uh, basically, they found in his blood that he had um, over ten times the amount of 
uh, butane and pro propane in his bloodstream. I didn't know butane and propane or pro propane were supposed to be in there at all. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. These these sound like stories more than anything. Oh but, no, that's not. That's just it's just an excessive amount. Oh right? yeah, it's a, oh no doubt. No I doubt. I could believe. So basically, it just wasn't well vent well ventilated. So, and the other thing is basically they did studies at uh, one of their universities over there, and they could not come up with the same uh, outcome. Whenever they tried it. Wow. So so they tried to kill somebody. <laughs> I'm guessing at least rats. <laughs> so humane. <laughs> yes. And number eight, we go on to basically the beard of death. Oh. Uh, basic, in, uh, in 1567, there was a fire going on. And while a man was trying to uh, evacuate, he tripped himself up with his beard, fell down, and broke his neck. Oh, man. Uh, his beard itself was... Four and a half feet. Okay, and from what I understand, the longest beard goes on to a Norwegian man that is actually at 17.5 feet long. That is a big beard. And that was back in... Apparently not... I didn't put the date down. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that important, apparently. Uh, so you see your next death by... Well, if you think of the movie Tangled, think of it with a guy with a really long beard Basically, instead. yeah. Well, Imagine. the thing is, though, the guy would actually walk around with it rolled up before he tripped and broke his neck. He would walk around with it rolled up and then in, like, a pouch. So he wouldn't have problems. Oh, my God. But apparently, because of the fire, he didn't have time to decide, hey, there's the floor. Uh, but anyway, uh, death by hungry sheep. Basically, this old, this uh, older lady who was 67 uh, goes out to feed her sheep uh, when they just got hungry, angry. I don't know, but they charged at her. Basically, knocked her off the ATV, which she would have been fine, but apparently they knocked over the ATV onto her and crushed her. Wow. So that's where they got the idea for the movie Black Sheep. Very well, could have been. Uh, see, her next is Death by Bra. And back in 1999 in London, I told England, you they weren't safe. two ladies decided that, hey, here's a thunderstorm. I'm going to go hide underneath a big ass tree. Uh -huh. And they ended up getting shocked to death. But uh, apparently they figured that the, uh, the undergarments have those metal uh, things. And they acted as a conductor and just uh, fried them. You, you know who I'm talking so, to. I told you that that wasn't safe. So yeah. Uh, well, the thing is though, like the they were saying that the doctor said that even if they wouldn't have him, they, he's pretty sure they would have been dead. <laughs> but still, it served as but conductor. still, it it did it did it did its job at hurting. Uh, and, and the funny thing is, is the coroner actually. Uh, well, I wouldn't say it's funny, but oh. the the coroner actually wrote it down as uh, the case for being. It, it was called uh, misadventure. <laughs> I was like, really? That's rescue. I guess they need to have some kind of sense of humor. Must be. Uh, so your next is death by video games. Basically, this guy's 28 years old. He they live over. He lives over or lived over in South Korea. Basically, he was at a cafe for over close to 50 hours playing StarCraft. Okay. He would go up to go to the bathroom and take a little small naps, but he ended up basically uh, passing out. So they took him to the hospital, and then when he got to the hospital, stayed there for a, a very short time, and ended up passing away. Uh, and they said that it was due to uh, lack uh, lack of sleep, of course, and just severe exhaustion. So he just well, I guess that touches broke. a little close to home, seeing as we're a little bit of a gamer community here. Well, we are, but I don't I don't think that we're that that hardcore. No way. I mean, you're talking 50 hours straight in a cafe. I've never done more than 20. <sighs> I've never tried Same. it more than once. Okay, so now we got number four. Really? Yeah. Yeah, man, we're cutting four. We're cutting through these like a butter through bread or a knife. Or no, not knife. I mean butter. Yeah. I mean, ah! you mean a butter knife through butter, a knife through butter. Yeah, that that'll, that'll, that'll be whatever. Good. Room temperature butter. Now, <laughs> room temperature cold butter, butter is easy. really hard to get through. You gotta like get one of those like uh, heating torches and just be like, yeah, yeah. Okay, but anyway, next is number four. It's death by molasses. Basically, what's going on here is back in 1919 in Boston, there was a large container filled with molasses of, they said, about 2.5 million gallons. And what happened was it was close to a uh, apparently a high-populated area, and uh, an explosion happened. 
Yeah. 2.5 mil god. <laughs> yes. And they said, uh, it's, uh, of course, shrapnel goes everywhere. I'm pretty sure it hit people anyway. Uh, but basically, it just let loose all that molasses. And they say, you know, I'm thinking molasses is just going to run slow. Like, oh, there's a river of it or a gigantic wall of it. I can get out of the way. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know, I've never... apparently I might, I must be wrong. Uh, but apparently it made a wall about 25 feet in the air and just went down and took 19 people with it. And just suffocate. That would be the worst way for me to die. <laughs> I hate sticky. <laughs> that, that is, you would I would be, sticky, be so sticky, suffocated, and not I would, alive. I wouldn't even mean I would die of sticky, not suffocation. <laughs> I'd be like, no! and I'm dead. <laughs> so yeah, that 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 really sucked. I mean, if this, if this really happened, I'm sorry, but I'm not trying to make fun of anybody, you know, dying or anything. But they they're very uh, interesting, to say the least. Uh, so next number three, we have <laughs> Death by Hollywood Sign. So back in 1932, there was an actress that decided, hey, it isn't worth, you know, living anymore because my uh, star isn't shining out here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So she basically went up to the top of the H and then dove off. Not after she left a note for suicide and her belongings. So what happened was, is uh, apparently the... Next day, actually, I think is what they said, a note came in the, or not a note, but a letter came in the mail for her to say, okay, you got a part for this movie, and it was about a woman who's going to possibly commit suicide. Oh, wow. So she would have had a job. That's, that's interesting. Plus, she's like, it just teaches you that, you know, sometimes you make it in Hollywood, and sometimes, sometimes Hollywood you know. kills you. Well... I think one of the, one of those things is where you should just hold out a bit longer, and that you you know that job might just be always right around have, the corner. Always have those moments where I'm like, I should wait, I should wait, and then I'm like, okay, I guess wait, I should. Jumping and, off of something? No, like it's in gaming, really. Like if you're, oh, okay. if you're waiting for somebody, you know someone's gonna come around the corner, <laughs> and you're like, I should wait a little longer, and then you're like, no, and, and then you get impatient, you rush out, and then they're coming right then. <laughs> it's just you always wait until it's too late. So oh, you need yeah. to act, act. Don't commit suicide, please don't. Oh no, suicide is um, bad. But it, it's just kind of interesting that the very next day she gets that for a role that, well, she just already did without them. Maybe her ghost can come back and play. Uh, maybe, oh, but that, yeah, that has to really, that has to really suck. Like, do you become a ghost and then you know what's going on? I don't know. And then you're like, mother, or you know. I know. She's like, <laughs> she's like, damn it. So, next would be uh, Death by Junk Pile. So, what happened is, two brothers decided they're going to live in Harlem, up in New York. And eventually they, they became hermits and just started collecting all this junk, all this junk, in the 1930s. And then, uh, what they did is, uh, what happened by the 1930s was, is the one brother, actually, the oldest brother, uh, got sick and became blind. Jeez. Uh, okay, and then sometime in the 40s he got, apparently he must have got sick even more uh, because he had rheumatism? Rheumatism. Yeah, rheumatism. So he was bedridden, there was nothing he could do. So his younger brother kept in, uh, kept of course, you know, bringing stuff in. They were making booby traps with all the junk that they had so people wouldn't steal it. I'm sorry, I'm not going to go in your house and steal your stuff, especially when you have a wall of Whatever that is. <laughs> you felt very passionate Just about that. Just saying. <laughs> I mean, come on, guys. You don't have to make a booby trap. There's nothing in there that they're going to really, really, really want. Or want to dig for. Let, yeah, let alone dig for. Uh, so his brother like kept you know, getting a bunch of newspapers and stuff like that, hoarding all that. So they're just gigantic hoarders. What was that? Uh, Phantom beep. It's back. Go ahead. <laughs> And basically what it was is uh, the one <laughs> the one that was taking care of his brother ended up getting setting off one of his own traps, getting caught underneath and I'm guessing crushed. Jeez. And then his brother that is bedridden ends up basically starving to death. So So don't be too cautious, but be cautious. Don't hoard. And don't set booby traps in your hoard pile. <laughs> Especially when you can't tell where it is. Exactly. Um, At least I remember, think, or like set a sign there saying, this is a trap. I think... Oh, it's a I, trap! It's a trap! Run! <laughs> but, uh, I think what it was is when I was reading, like, they said they that they pulled out, um... 
like 80 tons of stuff. Jeez. Like it was. They were successful hoarders. Yeah, I'd say. This should so, be a TV show on Discovery. There is a number hoarding. one, but I'm going to leave you with the description below <laughs> so you can go check it out and read it yourself. Um, let us know if you uh, actually took the chance to, to read it. Yeah, and we'll, we'll compare notes. If you can think of more, make up more bizarre ways to die, just post them in the comments. <laughs> make up, maybe, 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 we, maybe we could act them out. Yes, they'd be very interesting. And, you know, like, subscribe. And thanks for watching. Uh, good like, morning. Subscribe. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. Good night. You gotta keep going with it? Ah, ah. Come on, keep higher. Good ah. Ready? One, two, three.